it's crypto lightsaber with another video guys so if you haven't noticed already or you've not seen a video on this or checked your splash account already it looks like it's been rugged or exploited or something like it's not good no doubt you're gonna have people coming out with the i told you so videos the drip maxes are gonna be laughing you know there's gonna be a lot of fud a lot of you know, like trolls coming out of the woodworks in the videos and leaving comments and doing all that childish stuff. But, you know, we don't know what's happened with this thing. All we know is that the price has dumped. If you look at the chart, price has dumped from approximately about $26. It's dumped about 8x from there, you know. Um, so, yeah, a lot of people are going to be extremely extremely unhappy about that so you know i've referred quite a lot of people to this and to see this happen i mean that's what bothers me the most that uh, you know a lot of people have, have followed me into this thing and you just gone and dumped like this all right guys so it's not completely drained the contract's not completely drained there's still about a million dollars in the contract about 921k but you know it's still not good to see at the end of the day you know i don't think it classifies as a full-on rug pull at, the, at this moment otherwise liquidity would have been completely drained um let's see what the dev has to say about it so the dev posted um an update in their uh, telegram chat after they uh, muted it um there was a few of them there was a few but it says here sorry guys devs are trying to look into the contract someone found a bug and exploited it please bear with us and they went on to say that the dev team is trying to figure out how to make something out of this the person that exploited the contract sold all his tokens so we are just trying to figure out how to turn this around for everyone else. So I don't know if they've got a plan to compensate people or anything like that. Um, yeah, create a new contract, airdrop new tokens. I don't know. All right, guys. But all I do know is that the price is dumped. All right, now, after the price of Splash dumped, I decided to go in and sell my wave before. I've still got some. I've still got some wave. I kept about a quarter of my wave. But I sold three quarters of my wave because um, I anticipated that this was going to dump too. And then, lo and behold, the price of wave dumped. You know, people started panicking and they panic sold wave. Okay, guys. So wave has dropped, you know, quite a bit as well. It's dropped about a 10x as well, guys. So, you know, we've seen the, um, what's it called? The um, domino effect. Um, I also decided to go in and sell my drip forks. Uh, Goose, which launched today, 10x on that after pre sale. Well done, but um, after that happened, I anticipated that was going to drop, uh, so I sold Goose, and lo and behold, Goose started to fall. Uh, I also went in and sold Piston token because Piston, I mean, the whole launch was just a joke anyway, do you know what I mean? So I was trying to remain positive about that thing, but I feel like they've ruined that before it even got started. Uh, and this is what bothers me about devs when they start pausing contracts piston token decides to pause a contract yesterday um forex sharks pauses contract um it's meant to be decentralization just the whole reason that we're, we're over here on decentralized exchanges so that we can have a decentralized service and it can be trustless and we can you know trade autonomously and you know do everything we need to do without having to rely on you know, uh, uh, some kind of middleman or, or somebody c controlling everything and, you know, permissionless. Do you know what I mean? But that doesn't seem to be happening lately. And it's just annoying, to be honest, uh, just to see this happen with Splash. Because, like, for me, like, I mean, this this platform has so, had so much potential. I don't know if it can come back from this, but it had so much potential. And now it's just, you know, something like this, an exploit. It's just you know it just mashes up the whole the whole game for this project uh, to be honest okay guys now there's speculation out there you know was this done by competitors uh, was this done by you know forex shark for example uh, drip you know they know um if this is a drip fork they know if there's any backdoor or any way to exploit a contract they probably know i'm not going to put that accusation out there but there's always that possibility there's always the possibility that, that the dev sold tokens there's always the possibility that it was hacked or someone did find a backdoor and there were vulnerabilities in the contract. We don't know. All we know is that the funds that we invested have gone down. Now, I always recommend taking profits aggressively. Okay, guys, in theory, I haven't lost money, right? But um, psychologically, I have, okay? Uh, because, you know, 
age. You have an expectation, and when when you see a certain, as uh, you know, certain figures coming in on a daily basis, you have, you know, your expectation. That, okay, within you know, uh, six months, I'm gonna be able to get a return of this. If it drops, you know, fifty percent, I'm this is still gonna be my return. So you know, it's all good. Two uh, percent a day, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's it's not it's not going good, and no doubt. Uh, a lot of people are going to be unhappy about that. I'm unhappy about it. Uh, nothing I could do about it, but just move on and hope that you know this can come back. Hope that the devs can do something to rectify this whole situation. But you know, this is crypto at the end of the day. It's the wild, wild west, they say. And you know, we can. Ex I mean, the one thing we can expect is that there's going to be a lot more rug pulls. There's going to be a lot more uh, disappointments in crypto. And there's going to be a lot more opportunity to make gains as well. That being said, all right, guys. So if you lost money on this, I feel for you. Um, you know, um, nobody should be buying the top. All right, guys. Um, if nobody buys the top, you know, the, the price will definitely won't pump. You know, so, you know. Um, but, yeah, if you were buying up here, um, it's just going to be a sad day in crypto for you. Okay, guys, obviously, those that got in in the pre-sale, those that are buying super early, those who are building teams, um, you know, you've, you know, we've all had a chance to kind of profit from this, and um, you know, if if you are one of those people that's compounding every day, like I always advise people, like you want to be mixing it up, you don't want to just compound, compound, compound because you're putting too much trust in the project. You know, it can be here today, gone tomorrow, so. You want to be securing some profits, taking some profits, you know, you take some profits, you compound some, you airdrop some, you give some back. That's how you're supposed to play these platforms. That's that's the best way to do it. OK, guys. And that way you set yourself up to succeed rather than to fail. So, yeah, I mean, that being said, uh, there are a few projects coming out, but I think it's the end of Drip Fork season, in my opinion. There might be one or two that, you know, still, you know, if they've got any originality about them. I think they will still do well. Um, you know, there's uh, there's one or two that I'm invested in in pre-sale, like Zombie Network and so on. So, you know, I've got no choice but to commit to them anyway. And, you know, it's not, you know, you can't hold every project accountable for what happened with one at the end of the day. Uh, but, yeah, with this one, um, definitely, uh, definitely a sad, um, a sad outcome for this project. All right, guys, but... Who knows if it's over yet? Who knows, you know, what the future holds? But, yeah, it's, it's one of those videos, guys, that, you know, it's not a good news video. It's not a we just made a, you know, huge pump, we just made gains video. It's the opposite. And uh, I very rarely address rug pulls because I know they're going to happen. And, you know, anyone in crypto needs to, you know, not be so emotional and kind of, you know, understand the risk. We're always talking about the risk, you know, don't risk more than what you can afford to lose and so on. Um... And as influencers, we get a lot of emotional people in the comments, you know, that think they're smart, you know, oh, look at you promoting scams, you scammer, you, you know, just talking all that rubbish on the internet, do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, this is crypto and, you know, this is what we can expect at the end of the day, you know, this is what we can expect every now and again. You can't expect everything to go right, but we want to win more than we lose, okay, guys, and we want to take profits aggressively and secure the bag. We don't want to huddle everything, all right, guys, but you, you know, you, you have to figure out your own strategy in crypto, do what's best for you. Um, but yeah, I mean, guys, uh, yeah, let's see what happens, all right? So, subscribe to the channel if you, um, you know, subscribe to the channel, tick the little bell for notifications, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.